then so first video review for this week is for heart failure by chris set um, this was one of my january um advanced review copies from ilva publishing and um, if you want to check out my goodreads review i have just posted that the other day uh, so if you're on youtube there's a link in the description below and if you're on my facebook page or on my blog there is a link within the post and um, so i hope you'll go and check that out and this is the video review so uh heart failure by chrisette um i'd rest I'd read uh, Chrisette's first book, um, Irregular Heartbeat. So I knew she was setting this also in a sort of a medical setting and I was so ready for it. And I knew it would have a little bit of that same universe as well because I'd seen that sort of from the uh, promotional posts and everything um, and the Goodreads sort of description. So I was really, really excited to be back in that universe from Irregular Heartbeat um, with this new story. And this one was literally and i'm gonna say literally a heart-stopping romance it was so lovely um based on the way it worked with the characters and storyline and everything it was brilliant um so it's basically a story about jess and lena um and they really couldn't be more different jess is a doctor she's a cardiologist um with a heart condition um and um jess uh she's really high achieving really stubborn totally bordering on ice queen she could totally fit that category um only she's more vulnerable than an ice queen would be and it's really obvious um so she's not quite but she's definitely bordering on ice queen status and i'd say if you really like your ice queens you will adore jess so much um she um when she sort of has a bit of a run in uh, with lena who is um living with her mother uh, lodging at um, her mum's house um Lena is sweet and sensitive and really kind um, and caring and she's she's just an absolute dream of a character she's so lovely she's so wonderful um, but she's got this really heartbreaking past and um, she's such a good person um, that you know she could really bring out a totally new woman in Jess and um, Jess is so career focused and like I say she is that borderline ice queen because she is <sighs> she's really stubborn she's had a baby all by herself like she's just decided she wants one she's just had this baby she's just been diagnosed with this heart condition she doesn't believe it's going to stop her doing what what she wants to do and the problem is her body is screaming something different at her so she has to listen um and so she's kind of forced uh to take a bit of a break um from work and you know following having the baby she just really needs a rest um and obviously with her medical complications she is forced to she really really has no choice so they really don't get along to begin with they have this instant tension um but lena she slowly breaks Jess down and her kindness and and her friendly nature um, mean that a friendship and a bit of a relationship can blossom between them which is absolutely lovely but i'm telling you lena has a work cut out with Jess. like it's hard work um but i absolutely adored how chris used like a yin and yang character um to deliver something with so much heart this story was just so heartfelt um Jess needed to accept that she needed to stop and she needed help and it isn't an easy thing to do um especially when you're very sure of yourself very independent very stubborn which Jess is um opening up even to anyone like a friend but to open up to a stranger like um Lena it was hard for her and I loved that they had this really slow burn feel between them not only when it came to to them being friends it was more of a tolerance to begin with um, but Jess was sort of really suspicious of Lena and everything and she was putting two and two together and getting like five and she was having just I don't know she just she needed to get a grip she really needed to get a grip um, but I absolutely adored like this whole story and the whole not getting along thing really built tension and it just built up the angst and made it really realistic that you don't just get on with someone sometimes it's down to tolerance and you're spending time with someone because you kind of don't have a choice and then you just have to learn to get along but you realize that you could have got along all the time if one of you just hadn't been so stubborn jess uh, it was amazing i really loved that and um lena had just moments where her vulnerability shone as well and she was very good at hiding behind them a little and very good at being that hidden persona that happy upbeat person all the time but it was a great reminder that sometimes people seem happy and they really got a lot going on and that you should give them a you shouldn't just judge them you should you know you should give them a bit of space and you should learn to accept and try to understand what they're going through too rather than 
just thinking the world revolves around you again Jess <laughs> um, so you know there was a lot of frustration going on with Lena she had a lot to deal with pretty much all on her own um, and that past as well that she had to deal with so it was a really cute story and it definitely came about being extra cute because of Ella um, so Ella is um, Jess's baby girl and she's not very old and what I liked about this is she didn't dominate the story either so Ella's there her presence is needed she adds to the cuteness she, she so adds to the cuteness but um, children and babies have a way sometimes when they're in a story of dominating it because they're just so cute and you kind of get a little bit involved and wrapped up in the kid being part of the whole package and relationship and friendship blossoming that you sometimes get distracted from the main characters and what I like what Chris did here was she brought in a, a character she brought in a baby um, that Jess and Lena were able to bond over but it didn't overpower the story Ella didn't take too much focus she took focus when needed but in very very small doses so that was really lovely it was really good balance um, and also again that also played part for having Jess's mother as a big part of the story it really helped to add character and perspective from both points of view of the characters but it really helped to have her there she was that glue that holds it together without overpowering and taking focus of the story that's really clever and I really loved that about them the focus really here was on Jess and Lena their relationship and everything going on between them so I really loved that but it was a really lovely read the right balance of angst to romance to really keep me wanting more and I really think this book is brilliant I absolutely loved it I think I loved it just a tiny bit more than a regular heartbeat and I did love a regular heartbeat but I loved this one more and um I just think it was great that it was set in that same universe you 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 got some old friends they they had a chance to pop up so you got to see them as well but this one I really really liked it it was so good um so I'll pop a link in the description so you can go and grab a copy of Heart Failure by Chris Set um, if you've read Heart Failure by Chris Set I would love to hear your thoughts on it what you thought of it um comment below um or get in touch let me know what you thought um and if you're planning to read it or you have it on your to read list or you're now really really interested in reading it um again it would be great uh, to hear from you comment below um because it's always fantastic to hear what you you are interested in reading um, and I just hope if you do read it that you really really enjoy it because it's really really good bye